Court, I imagine with the rain, some of that snow now melting. Yeah, that's right, and that's a big concern. It's going to result in some more rapid inflow into our rivers and streams. With the heavier rainfall we're projecting tonight through tomorrow, that's going to be a huge concern for flooding. So something to keep in mind over the next couple of days. If you haven't grabbed the sandbags yet and you're in a flood prone area, you might want to get those handy today. As far as what we're seeing out there this morning, a live look over Lake Orville early on today, showing you cloudy skies overhead in the valley. It's been a bit of a lull in the active weather overnight, but rain has persisted in our mountain zones. Winter storm warning remains in effect through 5 p.m. Wednesday across our region in the northern Sierra. Flood watches remaining in effect through early Wednesday for the majority of our region as well. And this is mainly due to the heavy rainfall tonight through most of Tuesday. That's the time frame where we're dealing with the more substantial rainfall heading through. Temperatures are mild this morning. You can see 50s in the valley, 40s in the foothills, 30s to 40s in our mountain zones. Wind is starting to pick up. We have a high wind warning going into effect later today, lasting through Tuesday night in the valley, foothills in northern Sierra. Right now, sustained winds 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the south. Today we're looking at gusts in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range for most of today, getting a little stronger midday in the 30 to 35 mile an hour range, and then picking up tonight into that 40 to 45 mile an hour range. Tomorrow is when we see the winds even stronger. 40 to 50 mile an hour winds midday, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds possible in the afternoon. This is going to be a big impact, could result in power outages across our region. So something you really do need to keep in mind, those winds are going to be a big issue for us. And then those winds subsiding and out of the north on Wednesday as this system tracks to our east. Satellite and radar showing you scattered showers, mainly in our higher elevations overnight into this morning. Now we have low pressure off the coast of the Pacific Northwest that's tapping in to this substantial moisture plume. So that's starting to move inland right now, mostly on the northwest corner of the state. The threat of thunderstorms, mostly from Butte County to the south throughout the day today. And here's a look at what we're projecting to see in your hyperlocal future cast. Rain in parts of the valley, mainly Butte and Shasta County, seen the lion's share of the rain throughout the day today. Pockets of light to moderate rain in Tehama and Glen counties. That rain starts to become heavier tonight and through tomorrow. And get a look at this, a massive moisture plume taking hold overnight into early tomorrow. Overnight tonight is the time frame where the heaviest rainfall is projected. Still pockets of heavy rain through the day tomorrow with that chance for thunderstorms and then a bit of a lull Wednesday into Thursday before we see more wet weather potentially on Friday, although latest models showing Friday staying mostly dry, but then another wet system impacting us, bringing light to moderate showers Saturday and Sunday. Through the middle of this week, rain totals about two and a quarter inches to two and a half inches across parts of the valley. Most of this again is tonight through tomorrow afternoon. Higher elevations looking at three plus inches of rainfall. Snow totals not all that substantial. Snow levels are mostly stay above 4,500 feet. Could see about a foot or a little bit more in parts of the northern Sierra. Foothill area is not projected to see snow, neither is the northern end of the valley. This is going to be a higher snow level type of storm system on the way. So rain and snow in the forecast for today with the snow level 6,000 feet in the northern mountains, 40s to 50s there. 40s to 50s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades for the most part. Snow level 6,500 feet today. It's also going to be very windy. Foothills, it's rain and the chance for thunderstorms with 40s to 50s. And if you're in the valley today, 50s to lower 60s. Rain, the chance for thunderstorms and gusty south winds across our region. So get ready. It is going to be a wet and windy start to your work week. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Heavy rain and gustier winds on Tuesday. Looks like we could still see some limited showers Wednesday, although they'll fizzle out early on in the morning. We're left with a break from the rain most of Wednesday into Thursday. Another chance for showers for St. Patrick's Day Friday and then more showers looking likely heading through your upcoming weekend. So Kelly, keep the umbrellas close by. Keep those phones charged. Power outages will be very possible with this wind event heading through over the next couple of days.